Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this kind of uh, flower power spring inspired nail art mani. I am using one of Moyu London's uh, new stamping plates. So this is the flower Pla power collection. It's plate number 24. It's very similar to plate 23, which I thought this was it because I, I wanted it for ages. It was it's like out of stock. But as soon as I saw this one, I brought it because it was kind of the plate that I was looking for anyway. So as with most stamping plates, you will need to remove that blue uh, protective film before stamping. So I am using Moyu uh, stamping polishes. So you've got wintergreen, mint condition, Cancun coral and periwinkle. So what I'm going to be doing is basically using this image here, but four times. So I'm using a lip roller to get rid of the excess stamping polish that I don't want being transferred onto my nail. And basically I'm kind of putting it like halfway across the nail, as you can see here. And I'm basically just going to do that with all of the other colors that I haven't uh, used yet. So I do love a plate that's got a mixture of solid and sort of reverse stamping images. So you can put that block color there if you want, um, but then you can obviously fill in other parts as well. So you can custom it to whatever colors that you fancy using. So I'm using this Sheen Modern um, like top coat because basically I'm gonna dry stamp with this because once that's cured, it dries and it kind of leaves um, a tacky layer similar to that if you were using transfer foil glue. So even though um, this stamping image will be completely dry on the stamper, um, by applying that Sheen Modern product, I'm gonna be able to do something called dry stamping. And basically I can just pick this stamper up and place it straight onto the nail and it transfers. It's fantastic, it's foolproof. It's never gone wrong on me yet. And it's the only way that I do reverse stamping or advanced stamping or decal making, however, which way that you term it. Um, it's just fantastic. So definitely recommend using those type of products if you're reverse stamping like this because, and it's so much quicker as well. Do you remember when you'd have to do all this, wait for that to dry, then put a layer of top coat on, wait for that to dry, then peel it off, cut round it, place it on it. And sometimes the images would get distorted or it hadn't quite dried on the stamp and you picked it off and it's sort of torn the image. It was very frustrating so that is why I cannot recommend this technique enough because like I say it's foolproof. So basically back to the design now I am just placing the um, images and I, I, I was unsure whether to use the same flower colour as the block colour so like the block colour would have been pick, like a peachy colour but then I just thought I would just do it this way mix it up a little bit but I'm really happy with the end results and I really hope that you like it too, uh, Jelly Babes. If you do like this money and you want to recreate it, I would love to see your recreation. So you can tag me in on Instagram or you can email me at jellylicious at aol.com and, and show me a photo. I would love to uh, see that. I know as some of you do already. So this will be a shout out to Sassy Family. Um, she uh, does a lot of like recreations of my nail art which is really nice to see so thank you for that and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye